today <laughs> today i'm doing something a little bit different i got my notebook so thank you everybody who participated on instagram i asked y'all to send me some questions and a lot of people did so i really really appreciate it was like 22 people i appreciate y'all okay 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 so can i dance no <laughs> i'm going to be answering these questions while i am doing my makeup so this is the first time for me y'all so bear with me i want to start off with like all pink like you know we're gonna get burned out with the pink sooner or later um with valentine's day being right around the corner so i wanted to start it off with blues you know so i thought that was really really cute let me know what y'all think i think that would be a good intro video for my valentine's day series i don't know like i could be a morning person it just depends on what i have to get up and do like what am i doing in the morning if i gotta get ready for work no i don't feel like it you know i'm trying to get out of the habit of saying i'm so tired though because i read something like why are you always tired and it's not that you're tired you just don't want to do what you are about to do i would have to say my favorite restaurant right now hmm, that's a good one um let's just go with mccormick and schmidt seafood i really like their seafood. i really like seafood period somebody else asked me what's my favorite kind of food Seafood is, um, except now I keep reading all these reports about like seafood and how it's not good for you and water and just all the stuff about seafood and the fish are not good. And it's like, what am I supposed to eat without getting sick? And my stomach, I'm so sensitive to everything. Like I will literally get sick and I can't afford that right now. Please don't, do y'all feel like that? Like. It's something wrong with everything. It's a new report out every week about something. And it's scary. It's so scary. Like, what am I supposed to eat? People dying. People getting quarantined in other countries. It's like, but yes, um, I struggle with that a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, I have a lot of people who would just call me an unload and it gets really, really heavy. I'm always there though. I'm always there for my friends, family, whoever. I'm always there. But it's so heavy. What would your dream job be? I don't know if I have a dream job, but I would have to say doing what I'm doing. I love helping people. I love to uplift people. Kalima and I, we have a podcast on DMTV. Check them out also. Um, we talk about women empowerment and things like that. So that's something that I always wanted to do. Always saw myself doing. I like helping people. I like, you know, like I just said, I like being there for people. Um, so I think that would be a dream job. Not a counselor, but just like, you know, like a mentor kind of thing. And just any job helping people. Like my skincare line, helping people with their problem skin and things like that. Jamaica. Jamaica is always perfect. I am in love with that country, everything about it. I always feel right at home. I'm saying always, like, yo, I've been there one time and I have a trip planned for May. I mean, for March, excuse me. I went last May and I have a plan, a planned trip for March. I need to chill out talking about, I just always, I just do though. I dream about Jamaica, I really do. I felt right at home. Jamaica is, a perfect vacation but no uh a perfect vacation is somewhere on the beach definitely um just by the water i just like to be by the water and just alone kind of but not alone like it could be people around but i just want to i just want serenity yes like ooh, just to be able to walk in the sand and just have a drink in my hand definitely and just to be able to just take pictures and lay out by the beach like that is so ideal for me i love it i love it i love it nice sand no rocks and stuff no dirty ass beach just a nice beach that's ooh, i'm like taking myself there right now
I like chill people. I like people that are chill. I don't like you to be too obnoxious, too, uh, like, I don't like, I'm talking about what I don't like. I like you to be chill, but what I don't like is somebody that's like so into themselves that like they forget they have a conversation with you. They forget that, you know, you're right there. I don't like people like that. Like, I don't like people that aren't genuine at all. And I could feel it. I could literally sense it. I could feel that you are not being real, being authentic. Like, I can literally feel your energy. I can feel that shit. I could really pick up on your vibe. Seriously. One-sided, who are all about themselves, who can't hold a conversation, who just... No. You're just boring. You just... Go talk to a mirror, cause that's all, you know, that's all you worry about. Have a real relationship with people. You cannot be like that. Being late. <laughs> you think my mom, my sister, my dad, my brother, everybody calling me. They always rushing me. They always, Key, what's how you gonna be there? Key, what's how you coming? Key, where you at? Key, what's your ETA? At some point, and sometimes I just be like, yo, I'm really about to block them. Like, I'm about to just turn my phone off. Or it'd be like, I'm not about to tell them I'm coming. Because if they expected me to come, they're going to start rushing me. Because I like to take my time. I, I just don't like to be rushed. They always rushing me. I love my family so much, though. We always have little family functions, family events, game nights. And we get together for the holidays and stuff. I love my family so much. I really do. Nobody asked me that. I love my family. <laughs> my family is so cool. We so chill. We all y'all. Y'all better watch this and have to get my views up. I know that. The next look I'm doing, special effects. I love special effects, y'all. And every time I meet like a new producer or something, they're like, oh my God. Not weird, okay. Not weird, but this shows how much I've grown and how much I've matured over the years. So my first college roommate, I would be talking to my girlfriends and I'd be like, she's just annoying. Like she always asking somebody what they sign. Like why? Like she's always, she was, yo. We used to go to the CAF together like the first two weeks of school. Like, you know, people don't know people. So you walk around campus, you try and get to know people. You just naturally go with your roommate because it's just a given. Like, you know, why like, y'all go meet people together. This girl, every single person we would meet in the cab, on our way to the cab, going to the sub, going, I went to Lincoln. Lincoln ain't that big. So like other people started knowing that she was doing that and it was so annoying. She'll be like, hey, what's your name? What's your sign? Oh, okay. And it wouldn't be nothing else after that. Like, why do you need to know these people sign all the time? Like what? And you know, like I'm real into me right now, figuring me out, figuring out what I like and things like that. So I've been looking at my horoscope a lot and my astrology sign and my numerology number and learning about my intuition and my spirituality and things like that. And naturally I just started to like, look up other people's likes and I would look up friends and family and just everybody after that. Like I just started looking up and it's just like, Ooh, I do it. Like to myself though, like I wouldn't be like her, like, but she wouldn't even say stuff to people. She would just like leave it at that, like ask when they sign and then leave them like a cliffhanger, like, uh, okay, she weird. And I'm walking with her. <laughs> so I guess that's something weird, weird that I'm into. I don't think it's weird. I feel like it's a part of you. It's, it's, it's important to know and understand when you're trying to understand yourself further. I don't know, I can't talk when I do that. Be 25. That's deep. I'm really about to be a whole quarter out here. I'm always down for a good time. A good vibe, a good time. I just wanna laugh. I like to drink. I just like to have fun, get loose, be around like-minded people, um, good music. I'm always down for a good, cool ass vibe. Yes. I have one sister and one brother. I'm the middle child. My sister is 27. My brother is 23. He'll be 24. That's blood siblings because I have other um, people that I call. Like my big cousin Tyree, I call him my brother because we were raised kind of like brother and sister. 
so I call him my brother. And Miata, who is not my blood sister, but uh, for as long as I can remember, high school, <laughs> I have been calling her my big sister. I don't mean just like cable TV. Like I don't really watch Netflix anymore. I don't really watch like my fire stick. I don't really watch TV. So yeah. But to answer the question, the last show that I binge watched was probably, uh, what's the show? The Gallagher's, the uh, Shameless. Shameless, I love that show. That was probably the last show I binge watched. Ooh, that wing, I almost don't wanna ruin it. Mm. Mm, get into it. I never ever, oh my God, y'all, I saw this post on Facebook about Australia and they got the craziest, like y'all, the craziest animals, like the biggest spiders, like they had forests filled with like cobwebs, spider webs. They had uh, like big ass alligators, big lizards, big eggs everywhere, big snakes. Uh, they had like, Oh my god, it was like a it was like a, a post thread with like 27 pictures with all this crazy ass stuff. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about Key in Australia. Kiara is not going to Australia. Back to Jamaica. So we were at we were at Marta Bray River Rafting. And oh my god. So we were talking to our captain and it already was a really emotional trip for me just being there and learning a new culture and seeing how you know they just appreciate life and their views on life are just totally different so we are river rafting doing an excursion um and it's already emotional like i said i'm already feeling like just tingly inside like i am so in love so Scott, who is one of the captains, we're on his bamboo and he's like taking us through and he's using the stick and the bamboo stick <coughs> and guiding us through. So he's guiding us through and he's telling us about the water and he's like, you know, this water, this water comes from the highest mountain. And I called his reference and he was talking about like, you know, like God, like God supply this water. Like, it's nothing wrong with this water. Like, why, like, why would you need a filter system? Oh, this is what he did. So I have my feet in the water, mind you. It's, it's a, it's a, I don't want to, river. I'm about to say it's a lake. It's a river. And uh, I have my feet dangling off the side or whatever. And he scooped down and washed his face with it. I said, you put that water on your face? He's like, he was like, this water, this water source from the highest mountain, it doesn't get no purer than this. So I'm, you know, I'm catching his reference or whatever, and he's going on and on. I'm just so like, wow, like, you know? And he's going on and on and sharing this amazing story with me and this lesson, sharing this lesson with me is really resonating with my spirit. I love butterflies and it's for a very special reason. Um, my best friend who was killed in 2018, Dominique. Um, I always call her Dami Mommy. And she was always my social butterfly. And I always called her it. And anytime I would text her, anytime we would talk, her contact emoji, like everything was always butterflies. And um, I'm, I'm feeling like chills around my body. I'm, I, I felt it, like I felt a sensation. Like I, I felt it all and I'm getting chills in my skin right now. So I felt it all and um, you know, he's steady going on and on. And then right in the middle of him talking, he points and he's like following a butterfly. And then two more came and did what they do, circle around me right after I already felt that chilling sensation. They come circling around me. I instantly start crying. I instantly start crying. Like, I got so choked up on that red. Like, so, so choked up. And right then and there, 
Dominique appeared on that red. And it was like the most unexplainable feeling like that I ever, ever experienced, ever. And for so many reasons, oh my God, for so many reasons, that was the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my life. I have never experienced anything like that. And that was the most beautiful view I've ever seen, being on that raft, being in that water, that beautiful clear water, being around those trees, those beautiful trees. I can't even remember what they were called right now. Um, and then seeing those three beautiful butterflies and then seeing her, like her spirit, like her, I like Snickers ice cream. I like any like vanilla ice cream with like nuts or car caramel or fudge or something, but I don't like chocolate ice cream. I don't like, I just don't like ice cream for real. I'm a water ice girl. Bring me some water ice and I love you forever. Matter of fact, I got a big tub in my freezer. Lashes by Lima Cam. Go get you some strip lashes by Kalima. Brace your lash, baby. But one thing I really, really like about this Q&A is that I'm really on a journey to figuring myself out and understanding myself more and what I like and what I don't like and things like that. And it's not really something that I think about all the time. I haven't done this in a long time. Really sat and thought about like what I like. And it's really cool. Like this was really cool to do because I'm tapping into emotions and stuff. And like I said, I'm so guarded and private and I don't even do that on my own. Like I block things out so deep so far. I try to act like things aren't really happening. And it's not a healthy way to be, it's really not. And even though I thought I broke out of those things, I see that I still do it. And I've really been working really, really hard on myself. And I'm really enjoying this journey. I'm really enjoying this process of letting my guard down and breaking down these walls and this tough exterior for, you know, I don't need it. And I know how to defend myself. I know how to be strong. I know how to protect myself, but I don't need to have that guard up, stopping and preventing people from getting in. I don't need that. scared of squirrels y'all I am I got hit by a car running from a squirrel <laughs> Nola ready for work I'm leaving out I'm walking to my car and out comes a squirrel dashing from under my car as I'm trying to get in <laughs> what do I do naturally jump back I jumped in the street and I lived right near a stop sign so it was a young guy driving he jumped up, he, he had just pulled off from the stop sign, so he wasn't going fast, but you know, he was taking off, like his car was picking up. He hit the shit out of me. <laughs> he got out of his car so fast, so scared. He like, oh my God, like, are you okay? Like, what happened? I'm just cracking up, because I'm so embarrassed. I'm just cracking up. Of course, this squirrel is nowhere to be found. I'm just looking crazy. Like, I just jumped in the street, like, just. <laughs> embarrassing he was probably my age he just looking at me like yo sis is thrilled oh sis is me sis is scared as world they are crazy i think something happened to me when i was younger and i just don't know i just don't remember they just be staring at me they really just be staring at me and it's like you know how they say dogs sense fear like squirrels really can sense fear because I always feel threatened by them. Like, I always feel like they know I'm scared, so they just be stopping on a tree upside down, like, looking at me, like, just be like, oh, my God, like, not today, Lord. Like, 
I don't know, cause I'm silly. I could laugh at anything. Oh my God, your exit strategy is the funniest movie ever. Like, ever. Please go watch that, y'all. I think it's on Netflix still. Yo. It's like a low budget movie. And it's really, really dry humor. And the girl is just crazy. And the guy is just lame. And it's just so funny to me. That movie is just hilarious. I like a good pair of jeans. You gonna pin, you gonna spend a couple of dollars on a good pair of jeans, but they so worth it because they timeless. They last forever um, if you take care of them. I like jeans. I like jeans a lot. J Brand is my favorite brand. They fit so good, so snug. I love J Brand jeans. Is uh ooh, it's a brand called Nest and uh, one of their smells is Citrine. I got it from out of Sephora like four years ago. It is the best smell with my body chemistry. Like it just goes, like it really just goes. You can't just like buy perfume. You really have to, I mean, you could just buy it. You're gonna have to just buy it to see, but try samples first and really see what works with you, what lasts all day on your body. What, cause when things set, it just smells so different. And I really had to learn that. That brand is so, Citron is my smell. Like, I love it so, so much. Then, after that, it would be Chanel Chance. That's my favorite. I always have a bottle of Chanel Chance, the green bottle. Um, I like the pink, the light pink bottle too. They got like four different bottles. It's a green, a light pink, a dark pink, and I think a yellow. I like the green and the light pink. Um, hmm, do I have one more? Well, I say, what's your favorite perfume or smell? So those would be my two favorite perfumes. And then my favorite smell. Um, and then I really like the smell of eucalyptus. I actually have a eucalyptus plant hanging in my shower. Another fun fact. <laughs> um, I'm real like natural girl, y'all. Like I'm real, I like, um, even though like I do all of this, I, really, I feel like people are always surprised to hear how deep I am surprised that I read it's like why don't you read I read a lot I read a lot I pray a lot um and I have a lot of alone time a lot of time with my thoughts a lot of time to reflect a lot of time to listen if I'm not losing I get a lot of time to listen and uh that helps keep me on track it really does and I really appreciate all those questions that you guys asked me. I'm, I hope it wasn't boring. Um, after my camera, my camera cut off twice. So I kind of like got out the mood. It's going to be called, I didn't decide on the name, the actual name for it yet. But like Down in the Dumps or Valentine's Day Blues or something. Yeah, whatever, whatever's there now. Yes, so I hope you guys liked. Let me know if you recreate this look. Tag me in it. I would love to see it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I have so much more planned. Stay tuned for more.